At first glance you might think it's a landscape, but it's more than that. Australian artist Arthur Streeton painted Fires On in 1891. The call Fires On is the warning made when explosives are about to be detonated as part of the tunnel building process in the late 19th century. Arthur Streeton was an Australian Impressionist whose best known work dates from his early career in the late 19th century. He is known for his landscapes with small figures highlighting the breadth of Australia. This one, Ariadne from 1895, shows the Ariadne of Greek myth, but set in an Australian landscape. Her mythical resilience and strength a metaphor for this difficult new country. This one, earlier in 1889, is Templestowe, now a suburb in modern Melbourne, but then a wide, dusty, hot, almost vacant place. But it is in Fires On, considered perhaps his greatest painting, that Streeton peels away our national fantasies of subduing this land and shows us the measure of the nation building before us. Work had begun on the Glenbrook Tunnel to put the railway through Australia's Blue Mountains, west of Sydney. The tunnel was opened a year after this painting. Such work had its risks. It was not uncommon to pay danger money, extra wages, to compensate for risk. This was done in lieu of making a workplace safer, no longer an acceptable practice here in Australia at least. Although Fires On looks like a landscape, we have some initial clues as to what Streeton is getting across. First off, landscapes are, are almost always wider than they are high. This painting is done in a portrait perspective. Secondly, after the initial impression, we start to see figures, exceedingly small figures, dwarfed by the towering trees, huge rises and massive rocks. Finally, we narrow in to see the action taking place at the entrance to the tunnel. Four men are carrying another one out on a stretcher. Is he alive? Maybe, but I don't think so. His arms are crossed over his chest. The others stand around with little sense of urgency. It's likely he's dead, and all the danger money in the world is of no use to him now. Streeton was showing modern life in, for him, modern Australia a country that was now beginning to move beyond the overly romanticised agricultural and pastoral beginnings of European settlement towards building major infrastructure and heavy industry. There is an air of masculine labour and lots of men busying themselves building the country. But pan back a little and they are all completely dwarfed by the size of the landscape, the harsh ancient rocks and the towering eucalypts. Ants scrambling over the sun-baked surface, scratching at its unforgiving hardness. Fires On is displayed at the Art Gallery of New South Wales in the heart of Sydney. The canvas is large, almost two metres high. The cutting and tall trees form a strong vertical, crossed at the high horizon and overlooked by a harsh, steely sky. The tunnel entrance provides a strong, dark contrast to the rocks drawing our eyes into the action of the painting. All of the colours are sunbaked and harsh. The Australian light is strong, the sun relentless. The entrance to the tunnel is masterfully executed by Streeton. Look closely at the jumble of colours in the freshly cut rock, then pan back to see the smoke and dust wafting out from the latest fateful explosion. As much as this nation building was needed, it came at a cost. The method of tunnel building relied on explosives and picks and shovels. It was hard, gruelling, dangerous work. Streeton has decided to show us the cost. His tall painting shows us how insignificant we are in this landscape, how our labours make only a small dent, and how formidable the risks borne and labour required. The Glenbrook Tunnel itself is now heritage listed. For all of the effort, cost and loss of life to cut it through, it was only used for its intended purpose for 21 years. It's constant water seepage keeping the tracks wet, and that combined with its steepness caused some trains to have to back up and attempt the climb more than once. Under the high blue sky we labour on, pitting ourselves against the land, 
seeking to subdue it. Watch out, fire's on. Hi, thanks for watching. If you want reactions to more great art, please like, subscribe, and ring that notifications bell. See you next time.